everybody, Michael Phoenix here, uh, founder of the magazine, as you probably already know that. Saturday, February 1st, I had the chance to attend the grand opening of a local business that really caught my attention and curiosity. Um, all of them do, but this one is pretty unique in any area. The business is Let's Play Books. It's a children's bookstore located out in Emmaus, basically at the tri if you're going in from Lehigh Street State Avenue, whatever they call it now, um, you go, you get into Emmaus, bear to your right. Do not go by Google, by the maps, but bear to the right. It, you'll see it splits off into a Y. Bear to the right at the light, first light. Bam! It's right there on your right. You actually have to look at it because it's actually uh, it's a converted how they converted a house into a small bookstore so it's easy to miss in fact uh, I walk and take the bus I went to get over there several times uh, to do an article on it uh, back in December and um, couldn't quite find the place so I actually walked right past it a few times and didn't even notice it but Here's what's unique, first thing that's unique about it. Number one, we live in the modern digital technological age. Go for the phone, go for the laptop, go for the tablet. Bam, we read our books, we get all of our information online now. A physical bookstore opening, especially with uh, how even major chains in the past 10 years, borders, etc., have closed down, have closed their doors. So that really, really caught my attention. The second thing that's unique about it, the demographic. If you're an adult thinking you will walk into this place and all you know, find fiction, horror, etc., no chance. This is one place that bring your kids to. Because like I said, this is a children's bookstore. The when you walk in the overall design and layout of it is for kids. You will only find books and things for kids here. So, um, you know, make sure, you know, if you stop by to check the place out, but the next time you, next time you walk in the doors, make sure you have your kids with you because they, they're going to have a good time. Um, the grand opening, the mayor of Emmaus, the chamber of commerce, of course they were there as expected but they did have a very good turnout the place as you see in the videos at, at points the place was packed with people um from what i could tell and from what the owner karen had said the community actually wanted the bookstore to open so that's always a real good sign of that's always a real good indicator that the business at least stands a chance of being there long term versus again in today's world we live in no matter where you live you see the local business is opening three to six months later bam doors are closed end of story um but i'm gonna wrap up part one here right here <clears throat> because i do to some feedback and i do agree with this i'm going to try and cut the try and keep these short <clears throat> so that i don't bore the living hell out of you but part two is, I actually have one main, you'll find out the one main question I had to ask Karen, even though she was going crazy on Saturday. The one main question I had to ask is in part two, and I think you'll agree with the reason why I asked it. So make sure you check out, let, make sure you check out the, the website, letsplaybooks.com. They're also on Facebook. Give them a like, uh, give their page a like, please. And if you're in the area, stop by uh, right now. It's Monday, <clears throat> February 3rd, and even the local buses are, are coming to a halt here due to snow and ice. So, But when the weather's nicer, when it's not bad weather, head out there. Uh, one other thing about Part 2, they don't, it's not just a bookstore. So I'll give you a little more information on that in Part 2. Thanks for checking out, <clears throat> out this article and the entire magazine for myself and the staff. Be safe.